We're now going to take a look at a very full-featured IDE for R, which is called RStudio. One difference between R and Python is that there really is one IDE that everybody seems to use in R as opposed to many of them, and that IDE is RStudio. So if you're interested in learning about R, RStudio is definitely the way to go. So I will go ahead and open up my RStudio window here. And we can see that although the panes are organized a little bit differently um, than Spider, they're very similar. So in the upper left, I have my code editor. And in the lower left, I have a console. And if I look here, I can see the single greater than sign, which is the prompt for R. So I can simply um, type commands into R like I did before. So I could say n sign five to that. And as, as before, I don't actually see anything happening down there. But if you look in the upper right pane, there is a tab on this pane called environment. And in the environment, I can see that the variable n has a value of five. So e even though I don't see anything in the interactive uh, console down here, I can see in this sort of summary of what's going on in the environment. Uh, I could also just type n and see what happens down there. So, um, up, this is a rather long script that I've been working on here. Um, the way that you run scripts in our studio is a little different than what we saw in Spider. Um, what you do is simply um, highlight the lines that you want it to um, run. So if I want it to run only a single line, I just simply put the cursor on that line and click run. And then that line gets executed down here in the console. Um, if I want it to run several lines at, oops, if I want it to run several lines at once, I can just highlight the ones I want it to run. So here I've highlighted uh, two lines and it has run those. So I can just run through the script one line at a time if I want like this, uh, uh, like I did there. So here is a uh, data structure, an object that's huge uh, called closeness. And I can explore that by clicking on it here and see uh, in this window up here, ooh, it's very big. It will eventually show me all of the items that are in that uh, object. So it's, this is very similar to uh, Spider um, with some slight differences in the way that the uh, panes are organized. There we go. Now we can see what all the values are. And if I click on this tab, it'll return back to the script where I could continue running it. If I want to run the entire script, all I have to do is select the entire thing and click the run button.